come to me and I will give you water that you'll never thirst again. My Lord says, come, all you are heavy laden and have problems and burdens and, and carrying luggage and that's supposed to carry. Give them to me. He says, give them to me and I will give you rest. That leads me to the book of Luke. When Jesus was walking in the village and he went into a house, Mary and Martha's house. And Mary and Martha, Martha was so anxious. She was getting everything ready. And Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet, soaking in everything that he wanted to say. She was eating it. She was taking it. She was leaving all her luggage at his feet. And Martha went to Jesus and said, Lord, can you please tell Mary to come and help me? She's leaving all the work to me. And Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are worried about much in this world, many things you worry about. What Mary has chosen is a good thing that it will not be taken from her. Jesus says, that's why I say, give your, whatever you have, give it to him. Sometimes we don't know what to do when we have problems. He says, seek me, you will find me. Knock and the door shall be open. And that leads me to the book of Genesis. Everybody knows about Noah and the ark. Noah was a righteous preacher. Can you imagine how he felt? He preached, he must have preached a, a hundred years and he only had eight converted. It was Noah, his wife, his three sons, and his, their three wives. That's all he had converted. When Noah built that ark, he used to, people were mocking him, just like they do to me. Right now, they're probably laughing at me. Look at her. Is she crazy? That's okay. I'll be crazy for Jesus. Look at Lori. I mean, she only got anointing on her life. Look at her. She's from the hood. She's from the streets. How could she get up and do this? Because God will use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. That leads me. When that door was shut on the ark, my personal belief, I believe those people that mocked him, made fun of him, laughed, I believe they knocked at that door, they scratched it, they screamed, Noah, let me in, let me in. And in my heart, I believe Noah would have opened that door, but he couldn't. Because what God shuts, no man can open. Mm, come on. Woo, thank you, Jesus. You know, friends, tomorrow is not promised to none of us. Salvation is today. And God had just put this strong in my spirit. Salvation is not just a word. Salvation has a beard. Salvation has eyes, hands, loving hands, Amen. loving feet. Salvation has a loving heart. Salvation is Jesus. I remember the days I used to walk out here. I was on heroin and coke for 10 years of my life. I was in gay, homosexual, Sell my body just to get high, just so I could get well. Not because I want to get high and be loaded. I was so sick, I couldn't even get out of bed. I had to slam before I got out and took a shower. But let me tell you something, friends. Mary, Jesus' mother, she pondered things in her heart. Everything that the Lord told her, she kept. And that reminds me of my mother. Jesus said, she'll be back. She's a backslider. She'll come back to you, to the Lord, of course. And my mom kept all those in her heart. No matter how far I would go out, she'd pray. People would say, why are we? Just let her go. Let her go. My mom was a crutch. My mom did everything for me. The day my mom got smart, the day she closed that door and called the cops on me, that was the day changed my life. So I'm here to share with you or somebody, I don't care if it's 50,000, 10,000 people here, doesn't matter if it's one or two, you're the one that God wants to talk to. So I'm here to tell you that Jesus, he's the only way. We were created to worship God. That's why Satan does not like us. The same demon that gives you drugs and gives you alcohol, gives you all these ungodly things. The same demon. When we're not serving God and we, there is a hell and there is a heaven. And we go, it's going to be the same demon, demon that tears off your flesh. So let's be soldiers for Christ. I believe in my heart that Jesus wanted you to know this. Give him your problems. 
Give him your problem. He will send a godly man or a godly woman to take care of that. He has workers. The Lord said, there's plenty of things to do, but I have no workers. They will be sent out. Harvest is ready. But where's the church? That's why people laugh at me, but I don't care. I'll bring in the church to you. People don't want to go to church because of the way they're dressed, because of the way they act. People look at them like, oh, now, look who's in my church today. No, that's why I'm bringing the church to you. I remember my pastor saying, if Jesus was here, he might give a word in the synagogue or a church, but he'd be out in the streets talking to everybody, the homosexuals, the gays, the prostitutes, everybody out here that's free. That's where Jesus would be. So I believe in my heart, we, in my heart, he, I pray for his heart. I used to be out here a soldier for the devil. I ran all these streets right here. I did everything you could think of. And most of you know me. Most of you sat in the same room I did when I put that needle in my arm. But let me tell you something. There is hope and there's a way. Because like I said, and I'll always say this, God will use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You, he, the anointing. You don't, you don't have to have someone give you the anointing. God will give it to you. That's who will give it to you. Amen. It's the Lord. So I'm here just to share that with you. There is hope. God loves you. I've been, uh, for those who were here three weeks ago, my brother had died. Uh, actually, let me back up a little bit. I got saved when I was 16 years old. I didn't know God. I just got saved, did the routine. Many of us do the routine, come into my heart, go back out there and still live like the devil because I did that for years. Years and years. I didn't know God. I didn't have that personal relationship. When my brother died, I was a backslider. Remember, guys, my friends, Jeremiah. God is married to the backslider. Amen. I don't care what people say, God is married to you. You will come back. And I believe in my heart that he loves you. There is hope. And just open up your heart and it shall be given. And that is what the Lord had me to say that many people, you know, time is short. Time is short. People don't want to believe that. But the scripture said time is short. People are saying, oh, I don't want to serve him now. I'll wait till I'm older. Time is short. He's coming. He's coming for a church. He's coming for you. So be ready, be prepared, and it's okay that you drink beer, because we can't change it. It's okay that um, you might smoke a little bit of weed or whatever. God has to take it out, not us. I did drugs for 10, 12 years of my life, and I used to cry. I don't want to be like this. I couldn't do it. He did it. So give it to Jesus, and he will do that for you.